Moscow, December 26, 2025. In a resounding testament to Russia's cutting-edge military engineering, the Russian Aerospace Forces Su-57 Felon Fleet has achieved remarkable success in evading advanced radar detection and electronic warfare EW, systems during operations over Ukraine. According to official statements from Rostec, Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate, the fifth-generation multi-role fighter has operated undetected in some of the most contested airspace in modern warfare, showcasing its superior stealth capabilities and solidifying Russia's aerial dominance. The Su-57, NATO designated as Felon, represents the pinnacle of Russian aviation technology. Designed by Sukhoi, this twin-engine stealth fighter integrates advanced composite materials, radar-absorbent coatings, and internal weapons bays to minimize its radar cross-section RCS. Unlike earlier generations of aircraft, the Su-57's RCS is estimated to be significantly lower than that of fourth-generation fighters like the Su-35, making it virtually invisible to conventional radar systems. This stealth feature allows the aircraft to penetrate deep into enemy territory without triggering alerts, enabling precision strikes that disrupt adversary operations while keeping pilots safe from anti-aircraft threats. In recent missions over Ukraine, the Su-57 fleet has reportedly conducted multiple sorties, launching standoff munitions such as the KH-59 MK-2 cruise missiles and the newly revealed KH-58 USHG anti-radar missiles. These weapons, fired from beyond the reach of Ukrainian air defenses, have targeted radar installations, command centers, and electronic warfare assets with pinpoint accuracy. Rostec officials emphasize that the Felon's advanced avionics suite, including the N-036 Bielka Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA, radar, provides 360-degree situational awareness and the ability to detect and jam enemy radars before they can lock on. This EW superiority has allowed Su-57 pilots to outmaneuver NATO-supplied systems like the Patriot and S-300, which have struggled to counter the jet's low observable profile. One of the key enablers of the Su-57's evasion success is its supercruise capability, powered by the AL-41F1 engines, and more recently, the upgraded Isdalai 30, Product 30, engines, which have undergone successful flight testing as of December 22, 2025. These engines allow the aircraft to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners, reducing infrared signatures that could otherwise betray its position to heat-seeking missiles. Combined with thrust vectoring nozzles, the Su-57 exhibits exceptional maneuverability, capable of performing high-G turns and evasive actions that legacy fighters cannot match. In Ukraine, this has translated into the ability to loiter in hostile airspace, gather real-time intelligence, and execute strikes without detection, as confirmed by Russian defense sources. The expanded combat operations of the Su-57 in Ukraine mark a strategic escalation for Russia, with the fleet now operating in whole units for intensified missions. Analysts note that while initial deployments were cautious, focusing on missile testing from safe standoff ranges, the jet's proven evasion tactics have emboldened commanders to push deeper. For instance, in operations against Ukrainian deep rear targets, the Su-57 has utilized its internal bays to carry up to six air-to-surface missiles, maintaining stealth integrity by avoiding external pylons that could increase RCS. This configuration has been particularly effective against electronic warfare systems, where the Felon's integrated EW suite, including the Himalaya system, actively suppresses enemy signals and deceives radar operators. Russia's investment in the Su-57 program, which began in the early 2000s, is paying dividends amid the ongoing conflict. With over 20 aircraft now in service and production ramping up, the fleet's performance underscores Moscow's technological edge over Western counterparts. Critics who once dismissed the Su-57 as not truly stealth have been silenced by its real-world achievements. Independent reports and social media discussions highlight instances where Ukrainian and NATO radars failed to detect the jet, even during high-risk missions.
In one notable case, a Su-57 engaged a malfunctioning drone over Ukrainian airspace without alerting defenses, with wreckage only discovered post-mission. Beyond stealth and EW evasion, the Su-57's multifunctionality shines through its sensor fusion technology. The aircraft's distributed aperture system merges data from infrared search and track (IRSD) sensors, radar, and electronic intelligence (ELINT) modules, providing pilots with a comprehensive battle space picture. This allows for network-centric warfare, where Su-57s can share targeting data with other Russian assets like Su-34 bombers or ground-based S-400 systems, amplifying overall force effectiveness. In Ukraine, this integration has led to coordinated strikes that overwhelm enemy defenses, contributing to Russia's territorial gains and strategic objectives. The felon's success also highlights Russia's resilience in the face of Western sanctions. Despite supply chain challenges, Sukhoi has continued to innovate, incorporating lessons from Syrian operations and now Ukraine to refine the platform. Recent upgrades, including the new Product 177, engine tested in late 2025, promised even greater thrust, fuel efficiency, and reduced maintenance, ensuring the Su-57 remains a formidable asset for decades. As the conflict evolves, the Su-57's evasion feats send a clear message. Russia's aerospace forces are not only adapting, but excelling in modern warfare. With its blend of stealth, speed, and electronic dominance, the Felon is redefining air superiority, bolstering Russia's position and deterring aggressors. Military experts predict that as more Su-57s enter service, they will play a pivotal role in securing Russia's interests, proving that innovation and determination triumph over adversity.